The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 9th of March, 1660. To my lord at his lodging, and came to Westminster with him in the coach, with Mr Dudley with him, and he in the painted chamber walked a good while. And I, telling him that I was willing and ready to go with him to see, he agreed that I should, and advised me what to write to Mr Downing about it, which I did at my office, that by my lord's desire I offered that my place might for a while be supplied by Mr Moore, and that I and my security should be bound by the same bond for him. I went and dined at Mr Crewe's, where Mr Hawley comes to me, and I told him the business and showed him the letter, promising him twenty pound a year, which he liked very well of. I did the same to Mr Moore, which he also took for a courtesy. In the afternoon by coach, taking Mr Butler with me to the Navy office, about the five hundred pounds for my lord, which I am promised to have tomorrow morning. Then by coach back again, and at Whitehall, at the council chamber, spoke with my lord and got him to sign the acquittance for the five hundred pound, and he also told me that he had spoke to Mr Blackburn to put off Mr Creed, and that I should come to him for direction in the employment. After this, Mr Butler and I to Harper's, where we sat and drank for two hours till ten at night. The old woman, she was drunk, and began to talk foolishly in commendation of her son, James. Home and to bed. All night, troubled in my thoughts how to order my business upon this great change with me, that I could not sleep, and being overheated with drink, I made a promise the next morning to drink no strong drink this week, for I find that it makes me sweat and puts me quite out of order. This day it was resolved that the writs do go out in the name of the keepers of the liberty, and I hear that it is resolved privately that a treaty be offered with the king, and that Monk did check his soldiers highly for what they did yesterday. <laughs>